Hey everybody, today is March 31st, 2013, Easter Sunday, and the Q Computer Mid Tower Lux has experienced a power supply failure. This will be the first time I've ever had any of my power supplies fail, or at least in my computers anyway. It's funny, I've been doing this stuff for eight years, and this will be the first time I've ever had one of my own power supplies fail. Basically, um, the PC was actually up and running about 20 30 minutes ago, something like that. And I think what actually started this chain of events was due to a squirrel out in the neighborhood somewhere. Now, um, basically, what happened was our power went, went out and it came back on. That's due to, I guess, a squirrel, a branch, or something making contact with a power line and causing the recloser out there to trip. Power went out for about two or three seconds to come right back on so the recloser out there operated. And I thought nothing about it. I was just, everything's back up and running. Um, come back in here, turn on the computer. And within five seconds, I noticed something very strange. This LED fan here was spinning about this fast. Now this is only about a second or so. It actually did this. Everything was barely on and then pow, something something failed inside the power supply and I believe there's something in the PFC circuitry or the main switcher because it went out with a bang but it wasn't too loud of a bang it was a kind of a muffled pop if you want to say that but we did have a component fall out of the power supply or at least a chunk of a component and here it is I'm gonna get you a little look here get you zoomed in and I'll focus it up there is said component. And there's your, there's your model number. I see TNY278PN. And then below that is 567-18B. So that's the model number of said component that failed. So that being said, I'm going to take the power supply to Midtown Lux and have a look inside. Now I can't actually open it up right now because it's, right now it's currently unsafe because power supplies can store charge. The primary caps can store charge for quite a while and I usually prefer to wait at least a day. But if I can put it off a few days, I put off opening a power supply a few days after it's been in service. The quickest I ever service a power supply after pulling it out of service, I mean out of operation, was I think within two hours. Now is in the midtown looks Black Max doing a recap on its power supply. And normally I don't do servicing of power supplies that early after unplugging them. You gotta be careful with these things because of course almost every power supply states a warning on it. Telling you that caution, do not remove the cover, train authorized personnel only, or qualified personnel, whatever. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and have a look at the spec label. This is a Case Gears Eco Element 650 watt power supply. And most of the stuff that's made by Case Gears or Sunbeam Tech is usually crap when it comes to power supplies. This one here was actually built pretty well. I mean, when you compare it to the rest of their power supplies. Most of the cheap power supplies they have do not have any EMI filtration, no um, very good quality components or anything like that. This one here actually had decent quality components but I'm sure it wasn't actually a true 650 watt power supply. It does have 18 gauge wiring on everything. Everything's 18 gauge, no 20 gauge crap on the wires. It's all 18 gauge, if not thicker. So at least it was built pretty well. And the power supply was in service for 24 hour operation, 24 7, 365, unless of a power outage, for, let's see, from November 2010 through March. Well, almost April 2013 so that's not too bad well the, the crazy thing was the power supply n sign I'm um, showed no signs of failure in that failure the computer was stable just as always no crashing no nothing it was even I mean I was it was working today I was even putting videos together today on the computer I had some I got some videos I got put together and I was going to try to get those uploaded today but it looks like it's not going to happen but anyways, now let's go and get that power spot like I mentioned earlier. I tend to talk a lot in my videos. 
Okay, I got the power supply pulled out of the computer, so let's go see why it failed. Okay, now I'm outside on the back porch. And where it's plenty of, where it's plenty of light out here. And let's have a look here. Get my flashlight shining in there so this thing see this better. But the bad component is right there in between the 5 volt standby transformer and the primary side heatsink. Now later this week I'll shoot a video of inside the power supply when I take the cover off. Excuse the background noise, there's a piece of plastic flapping. You can barely see the IC, but there it is. The whole top of it has blown off. And that top is what I showed you a little while back in the video. So there's a failed component. Now also notice that the primary capacitor in this power supply is also bulging. Well, it's the only one bulging, but that's also something else that signifies this power supply needs to be replaced. Which I'm going to salvage the parts out of it, seeing that's a decent unit. I mean, it's got good switchers and good rectifiers in it, good strong rectifiers obviously for this kind of power supply. But if you have a look, you can see the top of that TPO 400 volt 330 microfarad cap is bulging. It's bulging quite a bit and that's, that's the first time I've ever seen a high voltage cap bulge like that. These winds are really kicking out here, so sorry for all the noise. Anyways, later this week I'll be getting a new power style for this computer. So, you probably won't be seeing these videos till probably later this week, if not next week, because um, many of the video files I took last week are on the computer. And I'll be using my laptop until I get my get the mid-tower Lux fixed. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.